Okie doke, this is uh, 1983 Volvo 245 GLT and I am posting this just kind of out of obligation for this other fella that posted a few months back and I sent a text comment saying that I would show my Volvo off and it's just finally getting around to it, but there it is. Uh, yeah, I've had this car since 2014. And uh, yeah, I got it with 260,000 miles on it and have since brought it up to almost 310. And uh, I guess it's already open. But I got this uh, kind of as like a quasi, I don't know, like a work vehicle or whatever. Like if I get stuck at work, I'll have something to sleep in. But anyways, here's the interior of the car. There's the odometer. It probably has more than that because I had a uh, problem with the odometer. Uh, when I first got the car, it was kind of stuck. So it probably has way more than 309. But yeah, there's all the... This thing's like a freaking airplane. All this all-weather mats and stuff. And uh, yeah, showing off the mask just to show that this is kind of like a Perry uh, post-pandemic uh, video. Whatever, yeah. So folks that are in like, I don't know, maybe my great 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 grand niece or something will see this video in the year twenty one sixty eight. And uh, like, yeah, the great pandemic of fucking twenty twenty to twenty twenty three almost. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna start it up just to kind of yeah show you how it sounds and stuff back up. Yeah, I've put about, I kind of got this car for 2700 and I put like six grand into it and I got it painted and everything. Totally worth it, I think, but started up. My friend Andy and I joke about this. Yeah, check out my holds. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna pop this hood. And, uh, yeah, the recent tune-up, so it's kind of good underneath the hood. I just had, like, a recent smog done on this thing. Yeah, you saw California plates and smog in California is a bit with this thing. Pass the smog. And I always uh, kind of get it tuned up right before that uh, two-year mark just to ensure it passes. But uh, this time around, it had problems with the kind of exhaust leak, so I just replaced the manifold and got it tuned up. And totally worth it. Car runs so much better too. But uh, yeah, I touched up those rims. They were pretty beat up when I first got them. I totally do that. I just filled them with Bondo and spray painted them. Got a shitty job, but it looks decent from a distance. Uh, there's a lot of things on this car that doesn't work. It's 1983, so yeah, this uh, just keep it on there for aesthetic, but yeah, that doesn't work. But uh, all the, I don't know, it drives and it's a lot of fun. It's camped in it. I trust this thing. It's a freaking good car. Yeah, this gets stuck. This like overdrive thing. I don't even know why they have that. It's like a why not just. Uh, constantly, like, or uh, just have the car in permanent overdrive so you're not like winding super high at 65 miles an hour on the freeway when this thing freaking fails, like it does occasionally. But I don't know it sounds cool when it's like a uh, winding really high and uh, people look like, What the fuck? But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, things from like camping trips and stuff on the road. That was from uh, Borrego Springs. Just, I don't know if that's bullet holes or just rust holes, but it just kind of goes with it. What else do you want to see? I could post more videos of this. But, uh, yeah, it's pleather interior and, yeah, plenty of... Can't really... There's a few. You, there's some patches before there was some pretty gnarly holes and I patched them up, but... Yeah. Aftermarket stereo. 
Bluetooth, and it has like this uh, really good speaker, so you can like hook the phone up to it and just totally have a conversation as you're like driving down the road in this 1983 Volvo GLT. Uh, yeah, and I just have door speakers, like they're super tinny, and there's like no bass range, but it still does the job, and phone calls and everything, but uh, yeah, and I guess that's about it for this video of the 1983 245GLT, if you have any questions or anything, just post it in the comments, and thanks for watching this, take care.